good morning to all of you today we are going to speak about uh, renewable and uh, non renewable natural resources so how we are using that renewable as well as non renewable natural resources we can see here so energy so sources if you see in the nature that's a renewable and non renewable resources the renewable what is meaning by renewable a renewable can be replenished fairly and easily it can be able to replenish but in case of non renewable it cannot be replenished at least in our lifetime so here the renewable resources derived from resource like the sun wind that can easily be replenished the non renewable energy resources is coming from the coal oil that cannot be replaced over a useful period of time so we can see now renewable energy resources uh, what are the types are available see that uh, biomass biomass it is a organic material made from plants and animals and microorganisms so this is uh, available so even that uh, uh, water environment you can see the phytoplankton and zooplankton these are all the biomass so that uh, what is the uh, pros of this the cleaner burning than oil abundantly available it is a renewable uh, these are all the things pros and cons you can see that the causes food prices to rise because we use grain to make ethanol and greenhouse gas producers it is a greenhouse gas producer that will be dangerous to the uh, environment not efficient to transport the raw materials geothermal resources what is a geothermal resources the geothermal is a temperature hotter than the sun's surface are continuously produced inside the earth by the slow decay of radioactive particles a process that happened in all all the rocks so you see that uh, earth it is inside the core is very hot so there is a lot of uh, radioactive particles are available it's all time it's became a hot temperature but we cannot sense in uh, top side when the volcano is coming that time you can able to find out the uh, geothermal energy so that is also renewable one so what is the pros of this low grid uh, greenhouse gas producers and the renewable in some places energy and the uh, cost efficient it is a energy and cost efficient cons you can see the few geothermal fields that are not protected in the land so this is a geothermal uh, renewable energies hydro power energy from the moving water so you see uh the electricity which is produced from the uh, uh from the hydro power so which is very uh, good for environment so this is uh, cost efficiency also so no green cows gases uh, produced in this uh, uh, record and can generate lot of electricity so electricity we can able to abundantly we can produced and it is a renewable if you compare to the coal energy the hydro power energy you can able to get lot of energy of electricity uh, from the uh, renewable mode what is the cons you can see the cons can damage the environment where uh, this hydro power plant are available that place can be damaged dam is built for this purpose for producing the electricity purpose dam is uh, uh we can able to produce the dam that is also one of the accounts and expensive to build the uh, the hydro power uh, plant that is also one of the cons for this solar power this is a solar power one of the great and clean energy so we are having abundantly because the sun is uh, located from the earth 1.5 million kilometers uh, away from the earth so from there the uh, sunlight is coming so you know that sunlight is reaching from the sun to earth 
is taking 8 minutes 20 seconds. Once the sunlight is starting from the air, it is reaching the air 8 minutes 20 seconds it is taking to reach uh, on the surface of the air. So this much huge abundant solar power as uh, sunlight we are having but uh, we are not using that uh, sun energy actual level. That is our uh, problems. Actually, if we are using the sun energy, uh, solar power energy, uh, actual, uh, uh, as far as possible, so we can get a lot of uh, electricity and we can convert this energy to some other form. That is possible. So that uh, nowadays we are developing lot of uh, electricity instruments uh, by producing the solar energy uh, that is a welcomable one the government also giving the subsidy for this uh, to have the solar power plant in each and every houses so that is a very good move so here uh, what is the pros of this no greenhouse gases are released so greenhouse has us it will create the uh, more temperature and that is uh, in case of the solar power uh, instrument that cannot be produced to more greenhouse gases and that when located on the buildings have a limited impact on the environment so environment also it have less impact if you are having the uh, solar panel on your rooftop uh, it will produce the electricity for your house if you want to sell the electricity to the neighbor or uh, the local authorities you can be able to do it also so that is also option available if you are producing the more solar power energy you can be able to uh, uh, give the local authority for this and it is a renewable it is a renewable energy so the solar power energy it is a very clean and clear energy the world is totally confident with only solar power energy for future uh, energy purpose so what is the cons of this expensive investment to install this is a is a temporary uh, expensive uh, investment so because now day by day the, maybe the cost also may be decreased also but the, however at present it is a expensive to install the uh, the solar power panel on the rooftop and not effective in areas with limited light so that is one of the things. Whenever the light is available, that time only it can be able to produce the electricity. In case of the raining season or cloudy nature, uh, it cannot be able to produce the much more energy or much more electricity. That is one of the cons. So always it, sh it should be focused or phased on the sun rays. Then only it can be able to produce the more electricity. That is one of the cons. Wind power. This is another one renewable energy. So wind power. So wind power also it is a natural energy which is available more in the nature and some uh, places of the country, uh, particularly the mountain area or the seashore areas which has much more wind flows are available. There we can install the wind turbine to use blaze. The wind flows over the blaze creating the lift like the uh, lift like the effect of the air, airplane wings which causes them to turn. The blades are connected to the drive shop that turn on electricity generated to produce the electricity. So it is one of the uh, kinetic energy, which means the mechanical energy, which is converted to the electricity. So electricity, it is a DC generator, they can be able to uh, produce, then it will, it will be converted to the AC. So DC means, you know that uh, dynamo current. So the kinetic energy from the wind uh, uh, blaze which will be converted to the electricity. So that is a wind power. So it is also one of the best option uh, for getting the energy sources from the nature uh, which is uh, optimum level it is available. So we need to use fully in this method the wind power methods. So what is the pros of the, this? No greenhouse gases are produced. And second thing is renewable in some places. This is a pros. And what is the cons? Limited to area of reliable high winds. 
so here the bins is all the places are is not the same uh, speed of wind are available some places is very less so in that place you cannot able to operate this uh, uh, turbines that is a one of the cons and a high initial cost but not as much as a solar you see uh, high initial cost but not as much as a solar it means solar it is a much more but compared to solar it is a, a less only so we can able to have this also uh, in office buildings in individual houses for getting the more own sufficient and energy and electricity purpose we can able to install this wind power small wind power uh, and turbines are available for commercial users as well as the uh, personal users that can able able to use in individual houses then extensive land use so you see land also it is needed for uh, installing this wind power uh, turbine that is one of the cons uh, harms bats and migrating bats so it is one of the major problems so once you are using the wind power uh, that uh, turbine the you know the blaze which is rotating whenever it is facing the wind it is rotating that's why many the migrating birds which can be affected so where it may be hit or the birds will hit on that uh, uh, place so maybe it will be die so that is one of the harmful uh, for the nature nature natural particularly the birds are suffering by uh, by the wind uh, uh, turbine so this is one of the cons but however this is a very clean energy we can be able to get the mechanical energy it will be converted to the uh, electrical energy or electricity so that will be very useful now we can uh, see about uh, that uh, non renewable energy resources what are the non renewable energy resources are available that we can able to see now yeah so you know that non renewable energy it cannot be renewable uh, uh, at least our lifetime it cannot be renewable for example you say oil and uh, the petroleum so petroleum which is extracted from the uh, crude oil you know that crude oil is one of the uh, things which is available in the air that is uh, we are separating petrol diesel and gas these are all the thing we are separating this crude oil is a smelly yellow to black liquid and is usually found in the underground areas called reservoir so from that even this crude oil which is available beneath the sea so that also the ongc they are getting the the crude oil from that even uh for this purpose some agricultural land also uh they are uh, utilizing but it is totally wrong methods uh, uh for destroying the agricultural land. we should not destroy the uh agricultural lands for this purpose but however it is your uh, non renewable energy once you are using this energy you cannot have for the future once you use it mean it is used so what is the pros for this easy to produce and the transport that is one of the uh, pros the high energy output it has the high energy output so but is it is a limited time period only so what is the cost for this non renewable a region specific causes lot of wars so yeah some region only it is uh, available much more so running out environmental damages from spills the spills where this uh, petroleum oil is extracted from the earth that place is totally polluted by the chemicals of this crude oil and all the things so high greenhouse gases co2 much more produced uh, uh, while extracting this oil from the earth these are all the cons are available natural gas the so main ingredient in natural gas is methane a yeah, gas or compound composed of one carbon atom and four hydrogen atom so the methane only they are getting from the earth so this thing also uh, we are using that natural gas uh, in commercial purpose we are using this one so this is also non renewable once you are using this one it may be complete after next generation they cannot able to get it Uh, the same level what is the pros for this it is abundant 
fever greenhouse gases then coal or oil so cons we can see the cons expensive to transport the transportation which is much more expensive the greenhouse gas producer this is a much more greenhouse gas also it is producing non renewable many of the areas that are now being explored and developed for natural gas production are uh, wilderness areas and development of these areas have large impact on these areas environment wildlife population so these are all the wildlife population also uh, will be suffering while extracting this natural gas from the uh, forest area or uh, even that uh, uh, seashore also they are uh, exploring this natural gas so even the some marine animals also they are suffering even the fishes and most of the marine animals they are suffering by the oil pollution oil pollution which is a very dangerous for the marine animals particularly the fishes the fishes may suffocate whenever the oxygen level is decreasing in the sea water the fish can be suffocate and it would be died so this is a major uh, accident even that uh, ship accident uh, uh, which is happened in the sea middle of the sea so that oil totally spread uh, through the ocean so what will happen lot of fish mortality will be happen the fishes most of the fishes will die in the particular location and particular area then due to that uh, uh, ties it will come to the near shores so that is one of the major impact while extracting the natural gas from the uh, the sea uh, beneath the sea as well as some that the ship accident also it will create lot of uh, a problem in the wildlife as well as the marine organisms so these are all the things called coal energy so this is also non renewable the coal you know that uh, it is a sedimentary of the plant or bio material which is and and it which is available in the earth so it's a compostable block or brownish block sedimentary rock composed mostly of carbon and hydrogen most abundant uh, fossil fuel produced in usa the energy scores come from the energy uh, stored by plants that lived hundred of million years ago when the earth was partly covered with the swampy forest the swampy forest 100 million years ago, uh, years ago lot of the plants material which is submerged in the earth that is now we are getting in the form of coal the coal also it is a non renewable once you are utilizing the coal uh, uh, for producing the electricity or whatever may be purpose once it is used or mean it is used the again you cannot get it the same coal for your lifetime at least for your lifetime so this is a non renewable energy so uh, the renewable energy and non renewable energy that non renewable energy we can use limited option that is very important if you need it then you can able to use if you don't want to to use you don't use because it is it will damage the environment also once you are extracting the coal from the earth it is damaging the the particular earth is puncturing the earth most of the uh, place where the coal uh, is uh, extracted from the earth that place is getting lot of water scarcity because of uh, this earth uh, puncturing is happening in many places so the water level automatically it will go down or maybe it disappear also this is one of the reason so this is harmful to nature only these are all this harmful to nature as well as human being and animals it is uh, produce a, a high green cows gas producer that is one of the cons it is uh, nuclear power uh, this is one of the energy sources the uranium one of the radioactive elements that is one of the uh, material for this uh, this nuclear uh, power purpose the nuclear fission atoms are split apart to form the similar atom releasing energy the nuclear power uh, power plant use this energy to produce the electricity so what they are doing 
by splitting that uh, nuclear uh, elements they are generating the energy so the same method used in the nuclear power plant to produce the energy or electricity uh, from the uh, uh, that this uranium so it is very harmful whenever the radioactive elements which is very harmful and it will be long period it will be harmful so it can create the cancer it can uh, change the dna structure of the animal as well as human being so it can damage the dna so dna you know that uh, it is a one of the very important element to maintain the genetic uh, uh, significance so if that is damaged or mutated or it can be mutated by the uh, this radioactive elements it will dangerous uh, to the human being as well as the uh, uh, wildlife so what is the pros for this so no green house gases no green house gases produced and next very efficient energy producer it is a very efficient energy producer however some dangerous aspect also will be there so it is available abundant this is a pros and what is the cons expensive to build and maintain reactors so it is a very expensive to build and maintain the reactor produces radioactive waste it is produce lot of radioactive waste difficult to dispose of waste that is one of the important things we cannot dispose the waste easily if you are disposing this radioactive waste in the air the air whatever whatever the terrestrial animals are available or plants are available it will affect if that radioactive element waste which is disposed to the sea water or marine water because most of the the reactor which is located in the near the sea shore only so what will happen where the marine lines are available in the sea that is very badly affected by the, this radioactive elements so most of the fishes uh, where this re reactor is located near places and also uh, where they are disposing the radioactive wastes the blind fishes are available the blindness which is caused due to that uh, the radioactive element such as uranium so that is uh, directly affecting the uh, uh, fishes as well as lot of marine animals so this is one of the uh, dangerous things to the nature and terrorism threat with the spent fuel nuclear weapon that is a very dangerous uh, weapon nuclear weapon you know that hiroshima nagasaki which is uh, destroyed uh, uh, during the world war so this is uh, these are all the cons uh, we uh, saw that renewable energy resources as well as, well, as, well as uh, non renewable energy resources we saw that so here what is the thing is that uh, we can use that renewable energy much more than the non renewable energy sources so this renewable energy sources it can be renewable sometime so you can easily use the one of the best option is that as a solar energy solar energy is abundantly available abundantly available uh, such as the tropical country we are living this tropical country it is having lot of solar energy is available so we can able to uh, get much more electricity by using the solar energy and uh, meanwhile we can protect uh, our nature also thank you thank you very much